Okay, so today what we're going to be looking at is uh, two things. The um, torque plate that Chris90 on the forum uh, was willing to spend the money in investing in and, and providing for the community. Um, and we're also going to be looking at the Cosworth head gasket actually on and in comparison to the factory head gasket. Now, uh, we'll start off with looking at the factory head gasket. You'll, uh, certain things you'll notice is that there's these little marks all around it. Okay, Those actually don't go through. The only ports that go through for your water jacket are these two here, these two here, and this one. Oh, sorry. These two here and this one. These two here and this one. These two here and these two. That's all the water that goes into the head. Okay. The uh, Cosworth gasket, as seen here, um, doesn't do all that much to make changes. What it does is it uh, puts two here, two here, two here and two here, two here and two here, two here and here. So that's actually significantly less cooling pass through on the Cosworth head gasket, I'm afraid to say. Um, so if you are going to be using a Cosworth head gasket on the on the on your BK20, you might actually want to consider modifying the gasket slightly. And when I say modify the gasket slightly, I mean enlarging those ducts for the cooling. Uh, oil tray wise, this one here is pretty much identical, but the water jacket extends, the, the crush part of the water jacket extends a little bit too far. Um, so that's reduced. Now this one is pretty much identical. This one is quite a bit different, actually. Hyundai puts a uh, crimp here, so that's why that tab is there. Um, but otherwise, actually, we might have just discovered why you should not use this gasket. See, this port here doesn't matter, okay, um, at all because that's open there. This one's ex this one's good. Now this one here, however. See how you see a little bit of silver here? If we pull this away, you see how we have an opening there? So pretty much you have an oil leak if you use the Cosworth head gasket on this engine. Um, which is a shame because I really actually like this gasket a lot. I, it's a lot sturdier in my opinion, it's a lot beefier. And um, it's, in, in my opinion, just a better gasket. Unfortunately, though, that alone means that this will not be going on my car. So, it is a good thing that Fred Bean Hyundai was kind enough to uh, make sure that I got a new head gasket in my gasket kit. So, Cosworth head gasket officially don't use. Okay. Um, this is the torque plate. It's very thick. It has the correct spots for the dowel pins, which are 
right here and right here. Um, this surface is really important to maintain, as well as this one um, for aesthetics. And these surfaces here don't actually matter. And what happens with the torque plate is you line it up Oh shit. I'm hoping I have this on backwards. Which I did. Good. All right. So you line it up and at this point if you are using ARP head studs um they would already be screwed in and torqued down. Okay. Once the head studs are the ARP head studs are torqued in, they're good. You make sure that you have a gasket between this surface or this torque plate and the studs or in the and the block. The head gasket that you are going to use for the purposes of the install, so the final head gasket that's going to be going onto this block, is ideally the head gasket you use. Now this head torque plate goes up to 87 millimeters. Uh, that's a bore diameter. So the stock coupe is an 86 millimeter bore uh, and most factory or most companies offer an 86.5 or 0.5 millimeter overbore um, piston. Uh, Usually what that, uh, the reason you do that is because your sleeves have been damaged in some capacity and they need to be rebored. And a .5 overbore is very, very easy to compensate for in your tune. Um, and in some cases you can get away without it. However, note though that you are increasing your displacement. My sleeves are really, really good, so they're only going to get rehomed. I don't have any damage to them whatsoever. Uh, which I actually find kind of surprising, um, but we're getting carried away. Now this torque plate, the purpose of the torque plate is the purpose of the torque plate is to create the conditions in which your cylinders will be operating at, during the process of honing. Now the, the Genesis Coupe uses an open deck format and as we've discovered in a previous video it uses a single module for its sleeves, at least in mine. I, I will not state unequivocally that that is how it is in all of them, but mine is a very early production 2009 and the engine was actually made in 2008. Um, so how it is in your specific engine you need to pay attention to. Now the, the, the reason that this is important is because as you torque this down to the what what the block will be feeling when it's getting honed is it prevents, or I should say, could create uh, the correct, the operating um, can, uh, shape of your cylinders. So some cylinders, I'm just going to put these out while we talk, uh, some cylinders, when they're out of stress, okay, so they don't have a head on them, are um, oval. They're, they're not perfectly round. Okay, now that is very very hard to see with the naked eye. Uh, usually you have to use a dial indicated micrometer that is specifically designed for measuring cylinder diameters. Okay, and even then the best way to do it is actually with a laser probe which actually is a, a laser on a rotating spindle and it is slowly put down into the bore. Okay, and as it's going down it's spinning and it's using a laser to determine the exact shape of the cylinder and that not only determines whether or not it's out of round 
but it also determines whether or not, as your cylinder walls go down, if they're tapered. Okay? Now, why is that important? Well, because as you go up, it actually becomes wider. So you want to measure everything as well, you want to make everything as straight as possible for uh, ring uh, wear protection, okay? Because you don't want angled rings, because that means that as you come up in the cylinder during the stroke, the rings actually have less um, uh, contact surface to do their job correctly, which is not very good for the rings. Now, these things that I've pulled out. Uh, are spacers, and these alone are, well, to be perfectly honest, rather expensive. But what the spacer does is as the stud comes up, you'll have a little bit of distance that you can't run the nut all the way down onto. So you use this spacer to push against this metal ring here, okay, which pushes against this section of the, the torque plate, okay, and that's why there's lots of them. And that creates an equal force pushing down on here to create the stresses that the block would be under. Now this is really important because you remember in a previous video I stated that the ladder frame was important to the integrity of the block but was not critical in the construction of the rotating assembly. What that means is is that when you have a torque plate on and you are boring or honing your cylinders, okay, what that means is you do not need to bolt the ladder frame up to the block, okay? Everything that is going to be going on happens on the top deck. It does not happen in the bottom section of the block. And that's where that statement previously in these videos came from. So now that we understand what this is for and what it does, and because I'm not putting my studs in until after the, the block has been completely acid washed. Um, we won't actually be covering the usage of this in these videos. Uh, at least I don't think we will be. Uh, but you just to note for everybody's peace of mind and safety stake that while you can't use the, the, the head gasket from a 4B11T, you can use their torque plate. Okay? And the reason for that is because the torque plate is only creating the same conditions as the head. It is not creating the same conditions as a lubricated engine with oil pressure, okay? Uh, or water pressure. So the, the head gasket underneath is irrelevant, but make sure that you use the head, at least the style of head gasket that you're going to be using. So if you're using a one millimeter head gasket in your final build, use a one millimeter gasket when you're doing your torque plate, okay? Uh, because that's going to change the loadout, okay? It's, we're talking like fractions of a fraction, okay? But if you're going to do something right, or if you're going to do something at all, you do it right. Um, just don't quote me on it. Now, the... There. Okay, so that's the torque plate, and that is the Cosworth head gasket, and why I'm officially declaring I would never use it, Okay. I would love Cosworth to come out with a specific uh, BK20 head gasket. That would be awesome. Um, and I may even contact somebody in order to get one. But for the per uh, for at the moment, don't use the he Cosworth head gasket. Officially, do not use it because uh, it's not going to do what we thought it would do. And that's really unfortunate considering how much they cost. So, and I bought one. Waste of money, apparently. <laughs>